What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers. We're in the electric room, which means we have a new, what? Electric. electric fireplace. You know the drill. New electric fireplace. If you guys been watching any of my other videos on electric fireplaces, there is a lot of new stuff coming out. I'm gonna tell you why in this video. Today we're debuting the British Fire Fireplace by Valor. We better get started. All right, so a few uh, important pieces of business real quick. You guys have to subscribe to our channel. Helps us out a ton when you guys do that. Um, also, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, that's where we're filming. So all these products are in our showroom. You can come down to our showroom, see these products in person for yourself, live in the flesh. Uh, so come down and check it out. Okay, so this is the British Fire uh, Fireplace. Now, it's kind of confusing. So this is offered by Valor in the United States. Um, so Valor is the US distributor for British fires. Now they are a European company. We're gonna talk about that a little bit uh, throughout the video. Um, first, let's just dissect the fireplace, talk about the features. I'll tell you what I like and don't like. Um, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about, about what's going on in the electric fireplace industry. Very similar to one of my last videos, sort of one of my issues with the new electric fireplaces that are coming out, but we'll get to that soon. Right now, let's talk about the fireplace. How big is this thing? Let's get a tape measure. Okay, so let's see here. So this guy, 46 inches. Here's the, my problem. Any more with televisions, what would you guess is the most popular size of electric fireplace, Elijah? What do you think? Probably 74. 74? You're close. So 60 and 74 are our two best-selling sizes. Why is that? Because your TV is usually bigger than that. Yeah, so most common TV size that we see installed above these is a 65 inch. So if you look over here, we have a 65 inch TV with a 70 inch linear fireplace. Now that flows pretty nice. What's the problem with a 65 inch TV above a 46 inch fireplace? Yeah, it makes it, it's a little baby, little baby guy. And uh, you really want the, this is just me, you want the fireplace to be the focus, not the television. So 46 inch is a solid size. We still sell quite a few of 50, 50 inch sizes. And if you're not doing a TV, then who cares? But here's my problem is British Fires offers bigger fireplaces in Europe. Valor is only distributing the one size. So, Here's one of my beefs, I'm gonna talk about them more in a minute. You're distributing one of the least popular sizes. So you're only making one size available in North America. To me, already off to a bad start for a new product debut, debut on this continent. That's just me though. Um, love to hear your guys' feedback on what you think is a good size. So 46 inch, what is cool is you can see it has the open ends, you can enclose both of these ends. If you want a single side, you can do left corner, right corner, or like we have it here, the full three sides. Uh, let's talk about the media. Did, it came with all this, right? Yep. Okay, so we set it up two different ways. We'll get some close-ups. You sort of get these ice crystals for more contemporary setup, or you have the driftwood. Now you said that, that little ember, driftwood embers, like almost like a real wood? Yep. Yeah. I would say that their logs look pretty realistic. I think for an electric firebox, they have pretty attractive logs. And you can see part of the reason is we have a really deep ember bed, which is nice. Now, why else can this ember bed be so deep? This is what else is kind of unique to British fires, which I think is cool, is our box, it's shy of 12 inches. So it's 11 and 5 eighths. For example, these are some other 12 inch boxes, like the Modern Flames Pro but you can see this one has a deeper ember bed. So if they're the same depth, why is the ember bed so much deeper? Do you know? Nope. Can you pick up on why? So a lot of the electrics have sort of this reveal or this trim and then the glass is inset. What's kind of unique about these guys is their glass is nearly flush. So the glass comes all the way out to the edge of the firebox, which means you're gonna allow even more depth in your ember bed. And then on top of that, once this is finished all the way around, you're gonna have little to no trim. That's kind of unique uh, with this fireplace, so I will say that's one of the more attractive pieces I like about it, one of the features I like. 
And then also, we're gonna have to show you some illustrations here, but essentially this little vent going across, which is pretty discreet, is our heater. So part of the reason they don't have a reveal is this heating system. So they call it their airflow or something like that. I forget what they call it. But essentially, it's gonna pull cold air in from the room and then heat the air with its heating system and then blow the hot air back out. So it's pulling in cold air, blowing out hot air. With this particular design, it allows them to have a nice, tight, clean install. So you get that nice reveal. So that's from a performance standpoint, it does two things. There's a better heating system and it gives you better trim. Now let's turn on the heater, I'm curious. Let's see how loud it is. All right, so I turn it on. It's fairly quiet. Um, sounds a lot like all the other electric fireplaces. It's definitely hot, like my hand out in front of it, I'd say it's, it's pretty toasty. What do you think? You wanna feel it? Get in here. Oh yeah. Keeps I would say it's definitely hotter than some of the other ones. I don't think it's as, it's only on a 120. So it's not, I don't think it's as hot as like if you hook up a Dimplex Ignite to like a 240. I still think that's the best heater on the market. But it's pretty warm and I like that it's not just in the middle. It's spread out pretty far. So definitely like their heater. So I got a couple things going for them. Okay, so they do give you a pretty cool remote control. Looks like we have seven day programmable thermostat, which is pretty cool. A lot of electric fireplaces don't have that. Um, but now let's go through some of our visual settings. So you can see very reflective background. If, if you watch any of my other videos, you know that's a good, bad, sort of a love hate. What do we like about a reflective background? Makes the firebox look deeper. Makes it look deeper and then also it makes it look like that log set is back in behind the flame. So it makes it look like the flame is sort of coming up out of the middle with logs or glass on the front and back of it. Um, very similar like a Dimplex Ignite versus some of the other brands where they, the flame is just in the back. The bad, bad thing about that is the flame being way in the back, um, it looks like it's in the back, but then the positive, the downside is, um, the positive of this I should say, not making any sense, is that there's really no glare. So huge advantage of not having glare, but then the flame's more uh, rear facing. Whereas this, the flame, I think gives it a more realistic look overall. But if you have a lot of natural light, it can be a big problem. Um, don't you think? Yeah. yeah, definitely the reflection sort of a good bad thing. So you have to weigh what you want. Do you want less reflection or do you like that flame sort of looking like it's coming up out of the middle? More of a personal choice there. All right, let's see what our flame colors can do. We have a log button. What's a log button do? Okay, so I think this is changing our ember bed. Yeah, this is changing our ember bed. So it looks like we can toggle from blue. That's sort of like a blue orange combo. That's just solid orange. You can see it's almost like flickering on the bottom. It's solid. Blue and orange. Aesthetically, you know, I'm not jumping over the moon there. Let's see, we have brightness settings. So that's gonna be, it's like, that's the brightest. And then it also has a top night light. So there our night light is off. Let's play around with some combos. Tell me when you think top light just turns on or off, one color. What do you think? I like it. You like it on or off? On. On? Mm -hmm. Sort of that middle flame color. So it looks like our flame doesn't change color. It looks like it's orange only. And then let's look at the flame char characteristic itself. I really, you put this really low to the ground. I gotta really get down here. So here's what I like about it. With that mirror, I like that it looks like it, it, the flame's coming out in between two sets of logs back there. And then also, I do think it does a good job of not looking washed out. It does have some nice contrast of like a darker image, like a black, so almost like a black mirrored image. And then those flames, it's not like just like solid washed out like orange flames back there, if that makes sense. They definitely have like some sort of pattern to them that sort of creates a nice contrast between 
I don't know if they're using like a stencil back there or, or what they're using, but especially like on the end there, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And I think that helps it make make it look more realistic than sort of just a washed out like orangey flame, if that makes sense. So the flame's solid. Okay, so here's my overview of this guy. And then I have to go on a little spiel for a minute about a bunch of new electric fireplaces that you're gonna be seeing. It's a solid unit. There's nothing going on that I'm overly excited about. Would you say that, that that's fair? Yeah, I'd say it's Yeah, I like, the, I like the, the lack of trim. I like the heater. Uh, I like the flame pattern, but I'm not seeing anything here that that's unique enough to be like, okay, I, I would buy that, if that makes sense. All these features are in almost every other electric fireplace that we sell. So nothing that I'm overly excited about. I also don't like that it only is available in the 46 inch. Uh, I think that's a miss because it's just not the most popular size. Now here's my little spiel. So like I said, this is being distributed and offered in the United States by a company called Valor. If you're not familiar with Valor, this is their first electric fireplace that they've offered. They are predominantly a gas fireplace only company. So what a lot of these gas fireplace only companies are doing is there's a ton of momentum um, with the electric fireplaces, one of the fastest growing categories. And then in parts of the country, parts of Canada, um, it's already happened in California. Uh, you're seeing where natural gas is actually not even being piped into homes. Uh, they're gonna be all electric homes. Well, if you're an all gas fireplace company, that's a problem. You got yourself a problem there, right? <laughs> so the only way to solve that is to get into the electric market. So th these gas company, Cozy Heats, uh, Empire's doing it, um, Valor's doing it now. They're racing to the electric fireplace field. And the fastest way to do that is to distribute somebody else's product, not to uh, R&D or design your own because that takes a really long time. Um, I don't think it's a bad strategy to do that. I think there, there's a lot of successful companies out there um, distributing somebody else's product and they do a really good job with it and they can sort of uh, put their own little fingerprints on it to kind of make it their own. Um, it happens all the time in commerce and businesses, not just this industry, all the time, and a lot of people do it very well. Here's the problem, and here's why I don't think this unit is gonna work. One, it's the wrong size. Two, Valor has a gas fireplace mindset. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is they only offer the gas products to local brick and mortar shops. They don't allow their pricing to be advertised on the internet so the local dealers can sort of set whatever pricing they want. Um, and it makes sense with gas fireplaces because there's, there's more things that can go wrong with them. Sometimes that's nice to specifically to buy that locally so you can get local service, professional install, so on and so forth. None of those are really issues with electric fireplaces. So they've also chosen a strategy where this is gonna be a showroom only product. Electric fireplaces, all the brands sell electric fireplaces online. Um, it's very common. People do their research online. They figure out their pricing online. They still may buy locally, but we sell, of course, way more electric fireplaces on the internet than we do gas fireplaces, let's say. Um, it's a lot easier for homeowners to buy these, install them themselves. You don't really have a lot of warranty issues down the road. They're just easy. So I think they're massively missing the mark on not allowing these products to be sold on the internet, but more importantly, they're not allowing pricing on the internet. So if you're doing your research at home, you cannot in your computer, on your computer, in your computer, what is it, Zoolander? Uh, on your computer, figure out what's gonna fit in your budget. And so what happens is you're just gonna get frustrated and eliminate this from your options. Um, it's a big problem. So I don't see this working. I could be wrong. I think it's already only a product that's just okay. So you have a product that's just like every other product. Like I said, Cozy Heat rushing to the market, Empire coming to the market, these guys coming to the market. You're gonna see a flood of new products that are all very, very, very similar in what they can do. So it's gonna create product confusion and they're already fighting an uphill battle not even offering it online and not even offering pricing online. So you're gonna have to find a local dealer if there even is one in your area, if this is something you wanna look at. 
Uh, I see too many uphill battles. There's too much competition. And I think what's gonna happen is all, as all these, these gas fireplace companies flood to the market, I do think that there's a couple out there um, just, just knowing what's going on in the industry that are, are about to hit some home runs. And there's some that are about to lay a stinker. Uh, <laughs> and so we'll see kind of who comes out on top here. Speaking of that, we'll have a new top five video, electric fireplace video coming. I know you guys have been really wanting that. We've delayed it because some of our new products, which we are going to include in that new top five, have been delayed um, due to logistics issues with COVID. So we've just been waiting for some new products to hit the market. We got some stuff coming up on the docket very, very soon. Uh, I do have some new electric fireplaces that I'm very excited about that are coming in the next few months for videos. This, unfortunately, is just not one of them. It's solid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset if anybody bought this unit. I think it's a solid unit, British Fires. They have a larger portfolio of what they offer in Europe. They seem like a very solid company, and their product seems pretty solid too. But to me, it's just sort of ho-hum. Like, it's just, you're not really doing anything different from uh, the other guys out there. Um, so, to me, like I've said in my other videos, you know, Modern Flames, Dimplex, some of these brands that develop their own products in-house, they're just really, really tough to beat um, because they're, they're spending so much, investing so much money in the product development uh, in-house. So, as always, my spiel went on way, way, way too long, right? Too long? A little bit. A little bit too long. So there's my two cents. I don't know if this is gonna work out long-term for Valor. I hope it does. Um, I don't care for their strategy um, at all. I don't like the size. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you guys subscribe. Stay tuned.